Hey everyone. I just got done with chores and I saw the sun was coming up and I thought it would be nice to go out and see if I can see what the horses are up to this morning. On my way out here in this back field of ours, um, I just came upon a group of turkeys. I guess they took off when they saw me coming. Anyways, let's just take a brief peek at the horses out here. Lady sees me coming. As you can see, we got a very, a very heavy dew last night. Jim's got hay to put in today. I'll have to wait just a little bit on that for sure. But our stretch of weather coming up looks amazing. That lady, she saw me coming and she decided to take off a little bit. But I think Bree will come over and see us. causing a stampede out here this morning. Earl's not alarmed. Morning, Earl. How are you enjoying your little vacation? Let's go see if we can say hi to Bree for a second. And Duke. seems quite unfriendly, but this guy is not. Earl's coming along. I think there's, um, a little bit of a split up here. That's why the mooing's going on. There's some cows on the other side of the fence and sometimes they they just get worked up when they're not all together. Dookie! being bad this morning. Look at little Bree, isn't she beautiful? Getting so big. Hi Bree. Hi honey. How are you doing? I'm wondering if her hair is gonna stay this color. Is that still her baby hair and it'll change color a lot or not, but I like her color. I think she's unique and very pretty. Hi, Bree. How are you doing? You're growing every time I see you. You're so big. I'm trying to get a picture of you. Now you're gonna come over and say hi? Sweet of you, very sweet. 
That lady won't say hi. Will you say hi, lady? Nope. <laughs> That's okay. She likes being out here. She doesn't want to have to go back to work. Well, I did get some nice photos. And maybe one of them will make their way onto the calendar. Who knows? But anyways, it was nice to be out here this morning. Bree's nose is like so cold and wet. And her hair is just all wet. It's getting cold at night here. Her back is covered with wetness from the dew. But I bet you had a good night, Bree, huh? I bet you did. I'll see you later, Bree. Thanks for coming over to see me. You're a good girl. So I thought I'd stop by and show you um, what's going on in the barn. Um, I was already out here and brushed everybody, but Ken is doing really well. That is inappropriate, little kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here. That is just ridiculous. Come on, come on. <laughs> anyway, she's living dangerously, and I hope she, she stops it. But Jim ha and um, Peter put a wrap on again yesterday morning, and Ken had it on yesterday. He's been on antibiotics two and a half days, but his swelling's come down quite a lot, and he was out last night, overnight outside, and Jim called him this morning, and he came galloping in the barn. So Jim was really pleased. He came in from uh, his initial chores and said, I've got good news. Ken came galloping in the barn this morning. So yes, that was a great way to great news to hear and um, this was two and a half days now that he's been on antibiotics so I think it really really helps for um, if we see anything going on and we jump on it right away because that's what we did you know so anyways we'll have to remember that Ken won't be in long he'll be going back outside again and uh, that way he can get some exercise. Well, we got some haying to do and Jim's off getting parts, so we better get at it. Please stay away from Ken. So on this glorious gift of a day, I am doing a little bit of canning. I hope not to be inside all day. I actually started the process last night, but I wanted to show you my um, tomato plants. These are my Roma tomatoes. And um, I've gotten just, I just have these few plants right here, but I've gotten, you know, just a whole bunch of tomatoes off of them already. Um, and I ha am well underway. I'm going to show you in a minute my, what I do for canning. But um, over here, Jim is back from getting carts and... I don't believe they were for the baler, but he's doing something to the baler, fixing the spring or something. Just getting ready to bale lay it later today. You want to say hi? No. <laughs> he's too busy working. <laughs> and I'm not. And I'm not having fun. <laughs> that wasn't my next question because I didn't figure you were. But anyways, he's gonna be raking hay later and. And uh, I hope to get done with what I'm doing so I can also help with that. So I'll show you a little bit of what's going on in my kitchen here. But before I do, what I also put, I'm making pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce. We use it for, oh, any kind of pasta, but also for um, when, I, when I make pizza. So this is basil. And I usually put, you know, a few sprigs of that in when I make 
make it. I'm very unscientific. I do not use a recipe at this point in my life. I used to, but I don't anymore. And I kind of throw in whatever I want. Yesterday, I put in some, we've got some of this huge like Swiss chard. I put a little bit of that in. It does kind of discolor the sauce a little bit, but you know what? The secret is you can't taste it when it's in there and you get some of the benefits of the the green leafies so i put that in there to help with the nutrition of it all i also put onions in um i've got some thyme over there my oregano didn't do well so i put thyme in and then i have my uh peppers and they're little hot peppers and they aren't super prolific this year and once again I'm not too scientific about how much I put in there. I just throw some in. Sometimes it's super hot. Sometimes I wish it was hotter. Usually it's pretty, pretty hot. If I have peppers, I put them in too. I mean, um, green peppers, but Jim's not a big pepper fan, so I don't put too many of those in. Anyways, come on along with me. Okay, I'm in the kitchen and I decided to just show you my kitchen as it is when I'm canning, which is kind of messy, but there's a lot to it and it's not for the <laughs> faint-hearted because it takes a little while to do everything. And anyways, here's the beginning of the process. Like I said, we've got the tomatoes and all the um, things that we picked in the garden to go with it, the Swiss chard, the the basil, thyme, the hot peppers, and also some garlic. And I, I'll show you over here um, that I, I don't have a specific recipe. I just chop things up, put them in a pot, and just kind of in my mind know how we like it. And it usually turns out about the same. Sometimes the hot peppers, like I said, can get pretty hot. This is some sauce that I started last night, and I'll show you the process in just a minute. But here's um, what I got in the garden just now. Um, all of those things I mentioned, I just put them together in a pot, and I can either cook them on top of the stove, or last night I had two big trays in the oven, and I just roasted it at like, 250 or 300 degrees until everything was soft. Now, I find this does make it a little bit more of a um, a thicker sauce when I do it this way in the oven, but I had some going in the oven and I had this pot full as well last night and I cooked them up last night and I, I did leave them overnight and now, and I put them through the blender and I'll just show you, I have some of that that in the blender and I just turn on my blender and it, it just takes a couple minutes to blend it up and I put it together in a bowl until I'm ready to reheat it. When I reheat it, I add my salt, which is about a teaspoon for a canning jar. Uh, so this is like, I put, um, this is about seven canning jars worth right here. I also put in a little bit of sweetener, some good old maple syrup. I just like, um, just a touch of that. It just, I don't know, it gives it a little flavor. that makes it taste really good. And um, I also just add and I add a splash of olive oil. Along with my salt and then I will just taste it and see if it's 
good to go. I use a lot of Himalayan salt here, but um, I just, and I think I have used it in canning before, but I just checked and they said that it's not recommended because of the minerals in it can change the quality of the product or something. Anyways, I know it hasn't killed us before, but I did just use regular, put regular salt in here. Now, and I'll just give it a little stir and a, a taste and see if it is acceptable to me. Yep. I just I just love those hot peppers in there. They give it a little bit of a bite. You taste it and you think, oh, it's not very hot. And then, oh, yep, it is. But one thing that I've noticed is that after you can it, you lose a little bit of that. Some of this may be going in the freezer because you could just put it right in the freezer too. I just a um, little worried about my freezer space. So that's why I'll probably can can a bunch of it up too. So anyways, um, this is a canner load that I just got out, or I just took off the stove. I'm just letting it cool down a little bit. And um, I think probably it's about ready to take out of there. So there you have it, the finished product. I'll tighten up the lids in just a little bit just to make sure that it seals. And pretty soon, hopefully, I'll hear those little pop, pop, pops and telling me that all the jars have sealed. And one thing I wanted to share with you is that I am not a canning expert. Therefore, check with, um, the proper authorities to make sure that you're doing it the way it should correctly be done because it can be um, unsafe if you don't do it right so don't take my word for it um, check into it yourself but um, also but don't be too afraid to to try it it's not really that complicated if you haven't tried it you can do it I know you can Anyway. Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're raking with careful, kept up. We're raking with Bill and Baron. Careful. Kind of half because Bill, I mean Ken, is still out of commission, although he's improving a lot. So hopefully, very soon he'll be back working. So anyways, we're raking up this field. This is actually first cutting hay. It's just insane if you ask me. Here it is almost the end of September and we're still finishing up our first cutting hay. This is the last of it right here. The ground is quite wet. I figured for sure that we could bale it today and it's still rolling over big green clumps and it is the ground is very wet and the hay is still wet so we are not going to be able to bail today tomorrow's saturday so we should be able to get it done tomorrow so that's just the way it is so we have this long stretch here that i'm on and then we get another stretch uh down at the end of the field that's what we're going to now and uh, we'll do up that and then we'll come back and finish up this little end piece that i just left left there
Ah, there. Ah, ah. This has been probably one of those oddest haying seasons probably that we've ever had with all the rain that we had. It's just been such a hard year to make hay. And I generally love haying and I'm really never a lot. Some years I'm never in a big hurry to even get be done with haying. But this year, I really want to get done with haying. I think last year I was actually up at Paul Smith College logging by now and they're ready for me even now. So hopefully very soon I'll be able to get up there. And if not there, I've got some plenty of other logging to do. Also, when we get the tiling done, there's gonna be a lot of plowing to do. Brenda had said that uh, she did a bunch of talking in the first part of the video, so she was kind of hoping I would talk, and so I guess I should try to say something, but I don't really have that much to say as usual. I guess I would like to say how good Baron has been doing in his, all the stuff that he's been doing this summer. Right up here, we have to make a really, really, really sharp turn and we'll see how he goes with that because we gotta go, well, we're gonna go his way. Oopa, 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 ha, 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 oopa, ha, oopa, ha, 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 careful, ha, ha. When I turn to the left, when Baron is on this side, it is the hardest way to go for him. But as you can see, he did really, really well. This morning, I've been texting the lady that is going to be the, at the, the one I talked to at the veterinary clinic that we're taking Baron, and as it turns out, it is going to be Monday, next week, that we're going to be heading down to take him down to get the semen from him. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, I'm hoping that they might let me even film a little bit of their, you know, facilities there and just see how, how show you how things will go uh, or how how it's set up I guess you could say so hopefully we can share a little bit about that maybe even next week so because this hay is not going to be dry today off to our left the shade is so bad, the dew doesn't come off of there until late, late, late. But further up in the, ahead of us in the longer part of this field, I was hoping to be able to bale that today, but it's just not ready. So tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll come in here and I will actually start in the middle of the field where I finish today. And I will roll this stuff um, I'll work my way out of the field with the rake so that everything will get rolled over a second time. And we have to do that because for two reasons, it's, it needs to have more drying time and we need to roll it over for that purpose. But also because the ground is so wet, 
Um, we need to get it off that area. Yep, ha, 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 so that it dries. Ha, ha, yep, ha, 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 yep, ha, 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 yep, ha, 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 yep, ha, 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 yep, ha, ha. If you're wondering what I'm saying, I'm just saying, I'm just telling Baron to ha, but I'm kind of tell him to, to stand still and not move at the same time because I just want him to sidestep which is very difficult for a horse to learn how to do it. Um, my horses do it fairly well because they're so used to it especially from logging and he does it very well at his young age also but when he is doing it what I am doing or watching closely is his hind feet. What I do not want either one of them to do is to step on themselves while they're uh, swinging around those tight, tight, tight corners. Now, as you can imagine, this hay, because it's so late cut, it is very poor quality hay. There's no way you can make really high quality hay of this stuff being this late cut. But there is still a lot of green in it from the kind of second growth. You know, a lot of the Old timers used to say, you know, you get your first, second, and third cutting all together in, in this hay. Oh. Just a little tidbit of information. Somewhere through here, maybe you can remember, Brenda, this is actually all woods. And we reclaimed this years ago, this end of the field. Uh, it might be, it's pretty close to up there where it's green, where the, where I cut, you know, a, you know, a few months ago. It was about this, this whole section down here was actually woods and we had a guy come in here and with an excavator and we reclaimed this whole section. It's a very, very wet section. I've got ditches around the outside of this field to help um, take care of some of that wetness and that has helped some, but it's still quite wet. Um, a, a, a good tiling job down here would be great, I'm sure. But uh, I don't know when, if that's ever going to happen. Caps up. I, I kind of thought Jim was crazy reclaiming this. It was literally a, a swamp. It's wet still, but it was really awful down here. And we didn't get any hay off of here. Remember that? There was like you mean for hardly any hay down here. Well, it was woods. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah, it was wood. But, but then, I mean, it was years because it was woods and then, and swampy land. Yeah. Brushy, swampy land. And then, ah, ah, you did some work. Ah, ah, and we ah, got a little off ah, of it. Ah, 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 careful, careful, ah, ah, careful, careful, ah. Uh. Now this is the last time I'll have to do that because from here on in I can just make straight rows. Yeah, that was a little crazy. That was a little tight. Um, That's and, but it was years before we really, even after you, you know, did that excavation before we really got anything off. And I do remember coming out here, and it's probably been done again, but I came out here with a, the hand cedar one time, remember that? Oh, yeah, oh. You can even see spots like that, how wet it is. And you can tell this is, this is still very wet ground. Tough yeah. stuff. But most summers, it dries out and it's perfectly fine, but not this year. Well, the reed canary grass does so good down here, yeah. and that's, that's why, you know. But look at the green still in there. Yeah. But thanks for all the extra hay we now have. Yeah. <laughs> if we ever get it in, still. We we supposed to have some nice, continue nice weather. I might have to. I hope to I hope to square bale all this. But if I get into a bind and the baler doesn't work or something like that, I can always hire my neighbor to come round bale it. Mm -hmm. So. But this is pretty good chance going to be our last dry hay that we put in this summer. Now I want to 
want to see what you're going to do down here. Well, it's actually in. very simple now. I got that triangle point out of there. So now I'll just go straight up to that next windrow and turn and I won't make a windrow on the end. So it should be able to pretty well pick up everything. Gee, gee, gee. Now it's Bill's turn to turn sharp. Okay. And then I'm not raking right here and then I'll swing in. Gee, Bill. G, 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 careful. And we'll just have straight windrows here. This is not for the novice right here. Why not? Because those, those um, corners are hard. Ah, any idiot could do it, I do it. <laughs> I guess I'm not an idiot then. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Yep, G, G, yep, G, 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 careful, G, careful, G, G, G. I tell you, that sun is nice and warm today. Mm -hmm. It should really dry this hay. There is a, a possibility that we might have been able to bail a little bit tonight but we have a, a, a wedding to go to friends of ours um, so that's going to take up our evening so we won't be able to bail this evening so but at least tomorrow is supposed to be a beautiful day again so we should be able to get it get it in yeah well the wedding's at 5 30 so that you know you have to get chores done yeah. before that yeah. and all that she says i got to even clean up a little bit before I go, so. Well, I know I do. I was going to put the drone up this afternoon well, just now while we're doing this filming and oh I had troubles with the drone so we would have made some nice footage from the sky I think I love to see uh, long windrows of hay it's just something I really enjoy and I bet oop gee I bet a lot of you guys would like that too but it didn't happen today so I guess we'll have to wait till next year if we're all still alive and kicking gee over here oop gee G, yep, G, G. Careful. You said they weren't working very well this morning. Are they working better now? Yeah. They seem like it. Baron did good, but Bill was just wanted to go, 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 like normal. Well, I hope you enjoyed a day in the life here today. We just shared a few snapshots of what's going on here at the farm. And we appreciate you, your support in watching us. And um, if you have any questions or comments about what's going on here at the farm, you can leave them below. And um, Jim likes to have things that he can talk about in upcoming videos. So if you have questions or anything, let us know. Have a great day.